Hi everybody, I am Serdar and I am an AWS and DevOps instructor at Clarisway. As you remember, in the first video, we have created a user for Mary. In this session, I'll show you how to create a custom IAM policy through the IAM console. So, let's get started. To create a policy, log into your AWS account with your credentials and click IAM service using the service on the top and click the policies from the menu on the left hand side and uh, the policies defined by AWS or you can be seen in this page click the create policy button as you can see we can create IAM policies using JSON format or visual editor to show you both I'll create two policies First policy will allow users to change their passwords and we are going to create this policy using the JSON format. JSON, JSON is short for JavaScript object notation and it's a data format widely used to transfer data between IT systems like API servers. Let's click the JSON. There are two main components of policies on AWS world. The version element specifies the language syntax rules that are to be used for and the writing version is mandatory by the way the statement element is required as well and uh, this element can contain a single statement or an array or statements each individual statement block must be enclosed in curly braces let's pass our policy here and explain what it is and uh, copy and paste here yeah here it is a statement within identity-based policy like this one uh, should include effect, action, and resource elements. It can also include a condition element, but it's optional. Simply put, a statement describes what kind of action will be allowed or denied, which is the effect on what resources. Here in our example, the first statement will allow the action to be taken so we have to assign the value of LO to the effect key as an action access to the password policy in the AW, uh, in the uh, IAM service will be defined so after writing the IAM service we use column and we define action as get account password policy Finally, as resource, we use the special character asterisk to refer to all AWS resources. The second statement will also allow the action to be taken. Uh, so we have to assign the value of allow effect key again. The password change action in the IAM service should be defined as action like uh, IAM column change password. And finally, we determine the resource on which the user will perform this action. We should define this part to include the username so that the user can only access uh, his her own resources. And uh, I'm going to write here uh, ARN number to determine resources and click the review policy. First, you have to define a policy name. I'm going to give a name as a password policy. And then you can define a description for the policy. Uh, this is an optional but recommended step. And uh, I'm going to write the same as the name of the policy here. After reviewing your policy, you can click the Create Policy button. and your policy has been created. You can see your policy password writing down here. Yeah, here our policy just has been created by us. And let's continue with the second one. We'll see the visual editor this time to create a custom policy for AWS Simple Storage Service, which is commonly known as S3. With this policy, we will allow users only to list the buckets in the S3. Click the Create Policy. 
and you can see the visual editor click the visual editor and it has already clicked or selected and uh, first of all we need to choose the service to see available actions for it let's click on the service tab and type s3 here and click the s3 yeah uh, then uh, click the action button actions button and then choose which actions or access levels to be allowed you can select all action actions to the allow all actions or you can specify access levels such as list read tagging write or permissions management and you can select uh, one of them or uh, whatever you need and i'm gonna select list yeah for this example, uh, yeah, for this example, uh, in the resources section, as in the, act as in the actions section, we can either select all resources or specify specific resources one by one. Click the resources tab and I'm going to select all resources. And in the, in the requested request condi conditions tab, we have two options here and one of them MFA required, the other one resource IP. If we select the MFA required option, the user has to use an MFA, uh, which means a multi-factor authentication device, before reaching the allowed resources. With the source IP option, we can ensure that the user can access these services only over specified IPs. For example, if we only want user to access this resource from company comp computers, we can create an IP range using, the, uh, using this option. Click the review policy. And uh, I'm going to give a name as S3, S3 list. Uh, only access and description is going to be same after reviewing your policy uh, click the create policy and yeah uh, congratulations your policy has been created you can see here S3 list only access policy and uh, as you can see in this session we have learned how to create custom IAM policies using either visual editor or JSON format thanks for watching see you in the following sessions till then keep in touch with Colorsway community